Howdy. I'm Cyberx with Outlandishly Crafted, and today we're going to be talking about how to do poly meshes and, hey, how about we uh, take this fantastic movie <clears throat> that Minecraft's uh, trying to you know, Mojang's trying to put out with uh, 1.7 million downvotes. And I thought, you know, I keep seeing everywhere people saying, I made a better Minecraft. I made mine, you know, this the better movie. Oh, look, here's the better movie. Oh, and a whole bunch of people have recreated this, but in the correct Minecraft style, right? Which is great. That's awesome. But I haven't seen anybody taking taking all of this or taking uh you know uh this uh this big guy and uh put them in Minecraft. Absolutely. If Mojang makes a movie with Jack Black and all these people in it, of course they want us to put Jack and all these people in Minecraft, right? They would love it. They would love it. So I want to introduce you today to Meshi. Meshi is a image to 3D software. And what we're going to do is we're going to take pictures of these guys. And you can see it's a... Uh, I'm doing these at 100k verts and we'll downgrade them, but I'm doing them like the best quality. We want this to be super HD, right? The movie, those artists of the movie, they put a lot of time and energy into making that movie just look epic, right? So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we use the highest quality scans that we have access to. So here we go. Is that not impressive? Is that not impressive? Here, let's see Jack. We got a few options for Jack. We've got this one. It's got the body down pretty good. The face is not as chubby as Jack's, but wow, look, it got that beard. It doesn't know what to do with the stick in his head, but, you know, Jack kind of has a stick in his head. You know, he's got that whole, like, plank in his eye. So uh, I think that actually works pretty well. I kind of I kind of like this. I think that's that's going to be one of our big ghosts. Now, it, it doesn't know how tall he is. He, he kind of thinks, well, maybe he doesn't have any legs, so you got this one. The face is messed up, but the body's perfect. So if you're going to do this, I would take this body and then the other head and then just put them together. I think that would be a really good uh, go at it. And then, of course, we got to have our, our uh, sheep, right? We got we got to have that. Oh, that. <laughs> wow, that's a face only a mom could love. Uh, I think we want to go with this one. Uh, you're going to have to re-roll these a whole bunch of times because even the ai doesn't know what this is pink fluffy creature it doesn't it can't even tell you what this is isn't that crazy it can get a boy holding a glowing cube or it can get lumberjack stroll it knows he's strolling but it can't detect what the hell that is The best AI in the world can't even tell what <laughs> what Mojang's put. Now, I tried all these others. There's not very good, like, full-body views of any of these. It, the llama is just a joke. It can't... <laughs> the llama's designed so poorly, it thinks it has six legs. I've re-rolled this. You get eight. Uh, under the paid plan and I just keep re-rolling it and re-rolling it and it, it can't do it. It just can't do it. It doesn't know what the hell. I don't even know what went on with this one. Okay, so this one's even... <laughs> it doesn't... So the AI thinks that pink dude, I don't know who any of these people are, I'm sorry, but this dude in this pink, it... It reported it. It won't even do it. It thinks it's offensive. Even the AI thinks that it's offensive. How is the AI more in touch with the world in reality than Mojang? Like, <laughs> oh, it's, it's bad, man. It's really bad. So we've got this thing. It can't figure out what to do. I, I tried, like, 
I try different ones. Like I try to. Here's a better, a bigger. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why does it have so many legs? It's so badly designed that it it can't even figure out how many freaking legs it has. Look, it keeps doing this. This is the what like how it has been. It like. It, the whole thing is so bad because of the shadows and the distance is so improperly done. It's so unrealistic that the AI can't even get like a concept. Even if it says it's Minecraft, it's like, okay, this has got to be a Minecraft llama. And it still is like, what the hell? Like, what are you doing to us? I mean, it's able to do Jack. From a picture, but it can't do the llama. Because it's just that bad. Uh, these, I don't really expect it to really... Because it's such a... That's a hard That's a hard one. Um, I mean, it's just not going to do it. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to... Um, if it doesn't stop locking up, we're going to jump down here. So we've got him... Um, I did these at 100k, so they're really big. If you come do this, they only let you do it at like 10k, I think, or 30k, or somewhere in the middle. Uh, and then when you ex, oops, not that one. When you export it, I've been doing the optimize OBJ, and I just optimize it down to 20,000. If you do 100,000, Blockbench is gonna really struggle with it. Look how good that turned out, though. Even on the pants and everything, like that really is not bad if i was making a video game for real and i just wanted to use this character i mean come on that that's not bad okay so i've brought him over into block binge and what i did is i started a bedrock entity project and then i import obj now you're gonna say but cyberax i can't do that um i don't have import as an option and that's true you need to go get the holy cow i have a lot of these you need to get meshy now meshy is not in the marketplace you can get it from uh the bho bedrock add-on server has it um it's from shadow kitten 42 he's got a github you can go grab it you can just google it um and and that's where i got it from uh, sorry, I'm not part of that Discord anymore, so I don't have a link for it. So once you have that, now we actually have our PolyMesh model. And you could just cut off his legs and put them in bones and put his body in a room and cut off the head and put that in a head bone. And then you just pretty much cut everything up and, and just... That's it. And then you export it like you normally would and put it in just like a normal geo. Nothing else changes from there. And it you you, you can use this for any game engine at this point. Like you could I, I've been putting stuff into um Unreal Engine. So I I took my a boat I made, and I didn't do image because I already made it in Blockbench, but I just exported it as a OBJ and put it into Unreal. But you could take this and put it into any game. And you could do this with anything. That you see the pictures are just screen caps. I mean, I literally just took these. I mean, these are just from their flyer, but this one's just from the screen capping the screen. So say you wanted to make a game and put your kids in it, or you wanted to make a game and... Um, Put your dog in it. I think dogs and pets is a really good one. Um, I actually have, and I don't know if I can even get through the list because it takes so long, but I actually have a pet, uh, a dog that I did of one of my friends, and it just turned out really, really cool. You can see I've done a, a whole bunch of these. Um, but, yeah, see, check out the doggo. Um, I've got two of them. This one's got a little bit of weird stuff down here because you can see how the picture, but this is just the dog in the kitchen. This is just a, a random picture that I grabbed and it pulled the dog out of there. And then you could just, you know, animate the dog and use them in your game. Or 3D print them. Say you wanted to 
3D print the dog. Now you have a 3D model of your dog. You can pretty much do anything with it. And at 100K, it's huge file. You can see it's struggling. Um, but you can downgrade it and just reduce it as you go. So the other option is if you don't want to um, use this plugin, you can also use Bridge. Or if you do want to use the 100K versions, so if you do want to use the um, the really high resolution and Blockbench just won't handle it, then you can just put it right into Bridge, and Bridge will just convert it directly over. And that's what I did with my head. So this is me. This is my head. I took it from a picture, same thing, and then I put it as the geo for an attachable. So I have this attachable here. And then that's just my head on it, right? And there's no reason why you couldn't do the rest of the body and the arms and everything else. Or you could also, you know, fix the the eyes or change the eyes out with like just globes and actually put eyeballs in. Or you could put eyelids in or, you know, now you could put hair on and you can do whatever you want from there. So really easy and quick, we've got whatever we have a picture of, we can put in the game. And a lot of you are gonna say, well, I don't, do I really wanna do my head? Well, maybe not, but what about a book, a, you know, a magic book, or what about all of these other things that you can also do text to 3D, so you can also tell it stuff, or you could go to ChatGPT and have ChatGPT make something that you want, like a gun, or a weapon or something, and then you could have it convert that from an image over into a 3D model. And then maybe it's not perfect, but it's, as long as you get started, then all of a sudden, uh oh, my internet just crashed. Look, my internet's down. It's happened a few times today. Well, I guess we're done. So as, as long as you get started with it and you uh, start getting some of the parts in there, you could always go through and fix stuff. And then in Meshi, if you pay for their plans, I believe they have an AI fixer where you can go through with the AI and fix the texture as well, uh, which is kind of a cool concept. They also have a full AI texture thing. So where you could just, if you don't like this texture, you could go back and say, hey, give me one with a red shirt and uh, you know brown pants. So yeah, so really cool. So that's how you do it. I think Mojang, after seeing the movie trailer and teaser, would be so excited. I think they would really enjoy if everybody that can takes pictures of stuff, makes it into poly meshes, and then throws it into the game and sends uh, tweets and puts up videos of all of their cool, maybe some anime like you get a whole bunch of like anime characters and you could do them all sick like and you'd have mag you know huge dragons all poly mesh and all kinds of fun stuff um so there you go that's how to do it so get out there and take some pictures or snap some stuff how about sonic you could go get the sonic character from the first sonic trailer and put them in minecraft how about that that'd be a good one too so, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm CyberX with Outlandishly Crafted. And this has been a guide on how to go from image to OBJ to Blockbench or, and then to Bedrock. Or you could go from image to, you know, Meshy OBJ and then Bridge. And I use Bridge version 1 um, and then right into Bedrock. So there you go. Thanks for watching.